I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Thursday May the 24th and uh, I know a lot of y'all were a little apprehensive to uh, click on this report because it said livestock hauling bill on there and you thought oh no not again but uh, this time it's a different deal uh, we've got a bill before Congress now just introduced uh, led by uh, Senator Ben Sass from Nebraska uh, a lot of other uh, Congress people on there uh, supporting the bill from some big ag states and what it's going to do is give a lot of flexibility uh, to the hours of service for our livestock haulers and that's what we've been needing something official something to get pushed through uh, the actual name of it is transporting livestock across America safety act but uh, it's got several provisions in there but basically every one of them is just going to loosen uh, the stranglehold that the ELD mandate has on your livestock haulers and, and make things a whole lot better. Uh, if you know somebody that can get behind this and push it through, do it. Uh, if you need to, to call your congressman or whatever you need to do, maybe they're going to attach it to, to a larger bill and, and send it through, but uh, hopefully this deal will get done. Uh, let's look at the market uh, for Wednesday. Your board uh, June live cattle up 55 cents to end the day at 105.45. August up $2.15 to end the day at 102.80. Where'd that come from? Wow, August feeder cattle up 265 at 143.35 and May up 95 at 134.90. But a lot of support come out on Wednesday uh, and, and not sure. I can see where your feeder cattle support come from. Uh, because we've got some some real positive uh, prospects for the the cattle on feed report with uh, uh, 105 which isn't great on your inventories uh, May the 1st but uh, 91 on your placements uh, and really uh, just 90 and a half or so 90.6 and 106 on your marketings which is a good number there and I can see where some of that's coming from positive deal also, uh, we'll get the market up there. Maybe they can start contracting some of those grass yearlings if they, they're going to have to get the price up to do that. Or guys will feed them themselves. And these feedlots don't want guys knowing how well they perform. Uh, they, they, they can't take a chance of that. They may not get them again. But, uh, but the fat deal, uh, like I said uh, in our previous visits there, uh, we don't have a clue how bad it's going to be this week and and they may just not trade hardly anything at all being that the board's been up uh, all week so far and, and the guys are going to be hard to trade with but uh, we're we're going to see where it's at you know I hate to even talk about the fat market because there isn't one uh, Fed Cattle Exchange just had 225 head on there of course no sales for it they're not going to support that thing uh, unless they just absolutely have to We've sold just a, a few loads of cattle in Iowa, 114 live and 180 dressed. I'm not sure when the delivery date in, on that is, but, uh, but basically nothing else. Just uh, completely quiet out there. Uh, your Packers were sure they were going to take another four, five, six, eight, ten dollars $10 off this thing this week. Uh, like I said, your, your feedlots are going to be hard to trade with because they're uh, on a positive note there after the board's been up and they've been paying more for feeder cattle. But uh, it's going to be a, a question of whether we see uh, much trade this week at all because we've got so many uh, uh, cattle delivering that were just sold here the last two or three weeks and they've got that week after week after week. Uh, although the Packers are cranking this slaughter up, I'll tell you what, uh, we're going to have probably a larger slaughter than we had last week, and last week was, was one of the biggest we'd had for seven or eight years, but 358,000 through Wednesday, that's 4,000 more than last week and 6,000 more than the same week a year ago. Look at your feeder cattle markets, and they just jumped right back up there with a little bit of help from the board. Uh, guys are wanting to buy feeder cattle. They're always wanting to buy feeder cattle. It's a competitive market. We've got order buyers that live off commission. They want to buy cattle. Uh, your farmer feeders have gotten along pretty good the last few years uh, uh, walking that corn to town. Uh, they're not excited even though the, the grains have been back up a little bit. 
but uh, they they kind of like feeding some cattle too, and uh, and we've just got to uh, really hold the reins on this feeder cattle market, or it gets a chance it is going to take off again. Real time index on beef market central is uh, shot right back up there in line with the board and the index. Uh, CME's index at 133.17. That's up three dollars and seventy-two cents uh, compared to the CME index at 133.43. So there's thirty cents or so away there. And uh, you look at some markets on two on Wednesday. OKC West, of course, the biggest in El Reno, Oklahoma, ten thousand four hundred head for the two-day sale. Uh, sounds like a lot once again. Uh, a year ago figures were 12,600 head and that's why we're looking at the lower placements and, and maybe getting guys back interested in this feeder market even though the fat market is kind of sour uh, right now and looks sour for the next few months but uh, there's just been so many fewer cattle going being placed on feed than there was the same time a year ago guys figure there's got to be an opportunity in there to make some more money but at OKC West, your feeder steers weighing under nine, eight to ten bucks higher than last week. Wow, over nine hundred pounds, five bucks higher. Feeder heifers four to seven dollars higher. Look at an individual quote there in El Reno uh, on some cattle that uh, were thin, were, were high in quality, but thin in flesh. Uh, come out of Canadian Texas, which is way up in the northeast corner of the panhandle of Texas, a Canadian, but uh, be quite a bit uh, south of Calgary there, so don't get confused there, but still a pretty decent haul on those cattle, but they're going to take them to a place where they can sell big drags of cattle and get something for them. 109 head of steers in a thin flesh condition and good quality, 848 pounds, 146 and a quarter. Why do guys sell cattle in the ring? whenever they could sell them direct when they got big strings of cattle like that because if he would have asked anywhere near that for those cattle in the country he would never get another call again to sell them direct because that is so much higher than he could have got for them off the, off the farm or ranch there those cattle come off uh, uh, pretty much non-existent uh, graze out wheat pasture there and and, uh, and just walking around out there in the pasture you couldn't advertise what the weighing condition was going to be on those cattle and that's why people bring cattle into the market put them in front of people and get uh, get uh, some guys bidding across from each other that both want them but uh, look at some other markets there for some reason or another they didn't send a market reporter to a winter livestock in Dodge City Kansas they've got an office like six blocks from there but uh, evidently he was gone but they said the receipts were too light that over 1400 head of cattle uh, there's a whole lot of sales that are reported that don't have near that many cattle but we did have the automated market report uh, turned on just like it always is there on cattle market central look at that market report uh, and, and, and the prices were sharply higher but but good weighted average prices in every weight group including 136 steers in the seven to eight hundred pound category, averaging seven forty nine at one forty four fifty seven. Uh, that's that's pretty salty there. Uh, look at some other markets there. St. Joe Stockyard, St. Joe, Missouri. Uh, guy David Ruoff, uh, a very good customer of Bose and Penny Commission Firm, brings this cattle there all the time. And and when you've built up a reputation, uh, and you and you stay. Uh, loyal to, to bringing your cattle into one market then it makes them that much easier to sell all they have to do is tell the buyers David Ruoff's cattle is coming in and that's all the explanation they have to have all the buyers have probably had those cattle sometime or another they know exactly what they'll do uh, and those cattle wouldn't be green they'd be backgrounded cattle uh, eaten out of a bunk but still evidently they performed pretty well so 50 head of them 968 pounds at 126.10 and then uh, a market right on your 800 pound steer way out east in Russell County Stockyards Russell Springs Kentucky 65 head of steers weighed 799 137 and a quarter that's your feeder flash for Thursday